All right. Hey, Rip, what's your advice on buying a house? Is renting a good idea? Thanks for the answer, and I thoroughly enjoy your podcast show. Uh, Clayton. Well, uh, that's kind of a, that's off topic, but, you know, and I don't buy and sell homes. I don't flip homes as is so popular these days. I don't. I don't buy fixer uppers because I don't know how to fix anything up, and uh, it's just one of those talents I don't possess, and I'm not interested in developing. So, uh, but Clayton here uh, wants to know about buying a house. Uh, it appears to me as though uh, you should buy a house if you can afford the house payment right now, because it makes much more sense to be paying yourself and building equity than it does to be paying someone else to build equity because that's what a rent house is. Somebody bought that rent house, they borrowed money on it, and you're paying it off for them. And if if you're not paying it off for them, it's already paid for, you're just sliding money in their pocket. If you can buy a house for a rent payment, you know, unless you're just going to be in the market for nine months, I mean, if you're temporary, yeah, it's probably less trouble to just go ahead and rent. But uh, there, there's not really a reason to not own, a, especially with what, what you can get a mortgage for now. Mortgage rates are, it's usually less than rent. Rent, I know in this market, in Wichita Falls, for some bizarre reason, the rents are lunacy. And the Air Force people that are coming in and staying two years drive the rent market way up here. It may not be that way everywhere, but it would. If you're going to rent a house for twelve hundred dollars a month, which is, you know, and those of you in San Francisco, you poor bastards, <laughs> you, <laughs> they have, they have, no, they that you can't rent a closet for twelve hundred a month and to hang your clothes in San Francisco in these hot coastal markets, you know, <laughs> free needles. Just wash them real good, you know. <laughs> well, you know if you're if you're doing that to yourself, I'm not I'm not talking to you. But say you're in a normal part of the country, and uh, if the rent's twelve hundred dollars because the there's a hot rent market, I promise you a mortgage payment's going to be lower than that. You need to be making one. Uh, that's the only con- this is just an economic consideration. And if you are a landlord and you are owning houses to rent to other people. If you are uh, interested in getting a call at 3 o'clock in the morning to come unstop the toilet, you go ahead and be a landlord, okay? I'm not interested in dealing with that. I mean, how how many times do you does somebody move out of a rent house that's been in it for a couple of years and you don't have to repaint the whole damn thing? How often does that happen? It doesn't. You have to repaint the whole damn thing. So people don't take care of other people's property. This is a fundamental reality that you have to deal with if you're a landlord. If you're in the landlord business, like a lot of people are, and you got 300 units in a market, and you're making millions of dollars a year off of your rents, well, you don't mind getting calls at 3 o'clock in the morning saying that the toilet stopped up and that... Uh, the kitchen stove's on fire, and it's your fault somehow. You just come out like my landlord and just be like, well, deal with it for the next four or five days. <laughs> just deal with just it. Just deal with it. Well, why don't, you, why don't you buy a house, Rusty? Maybe you ought to give some thoughts to that. Maybe I buy a house. Buy a house. 